to chalk out TMC's future strategy. All right, latest also coming in on the bulletin right now as we speak. The Lok Sabha also stands adjourned for now and getting in a quick word. Uh, our deputy editor Kartike Sharma joins us on the phone line now. Kartike, no business for now in both the houses of the parliament. Flurry of uh, meetings and consultations we saw taking place yesterday. Where does the government stand right now as far as this FDI retail log jam is concerned? The government will not go down on the issue of FDI. The House has been adjourned. It's a private member's day. So anyway, the attendance of the members in the House is extremely low today. You have uh, holidays after Friday, which is uh, Saturday, Sunday, the usual days off, and then Tuesday is more ramp. So it will be giving enough space for Congress to manage their numbers. You see, the focus for Congress right now is to ensure that most of their allies come on board, so even when they have to face an adjournment with voting, they, they can be prepared. Because ultimately, if there is a vote, and, and if they fall short of numbers, then it can invite a no confidence motion. Hmm. So uh, that way, I would say that the Congress has made up its mind. It's not going back on the FBI issue on the principle that executive decisions cannot be challenged in Parliament. And if they do, it will open floodgates of number of adjournment motions on this issue, which would entail voting. So Karthike says that the Congress is trying to bring its allies on board. Avijit, one of the very important allies that we are talking about here is TMC and Mamata Banerjee is all set to hold that important core committee meeting with her uh, ministers today to chalk out that further strategy of TMC on the issue. Which way is she going to go now? See Parina, the more, most important thing is that Mamata has made her stand very very clear. So today this thing is a routine meeting that she has with all, all the core committee, co core group of ministers and mm. she is going to discuss the issue, she is going to relay her point of view and I don't think there is any, I mean we spoke to a lot of ministers, we spoke to Vamta Banerjee, there is only uh, no debate on the issue as far as Vamta and our party is concerned and she has steadfastly maintained that FDI and retail, she is not going to allow in the state, FDI and retail, she is not going to go with the center on this issue. So that has been a stand despite the fact the Prime Minister has spoken to her and also extended their position. Sudhi Bandapath is also returning to the city to today and he is also mm -hmm. expected to brief Mamta Banerjee late in the evening and then, you know, we will we'll take a step forward. They are, they are uh, going to be hectic political parlays and a lot okay. of uh, phone calls and meetings are going to take place and hmm. uh, towards the later in the evening uh, it's going to be crystal clear as to what how things are moving but on these two counts okay. he is very very firm all right, I want to go back to Karthike now. Karthike, we've been hearing noises from the BJP saying that whenever there's an important policy decision that is made, Sonia Gandhi is nowhere to be heard. It's always the Prime Minister, or most, most of the times it's Pranav Mukherjee who does all the talking. So is now Sonia Gandhi going to speak up her mind on FDI retail policy? My to say that Sonia Gandhi is supporting Prime Minister on the issue of FDI. Mm -hmm. Pranam Mukherjee has been roped in. We expect him to go to Calcutta as an MSV, drop in, see Mamta Banerjee, and probably we expect even the Prime Minister to do so because he's leaving for Imphal tomorrow. But that mm -hmm. plan has not been formalized. So uh, that will happen, that will take place uh, when it is required. But Parina, uh, the point is that Sonia Gandhi, I would say, will not speak on the matter till it is resolved because if your top leaders start speaking on an issue which is contentious and unresolved, then the ramifications for party and other allies can be huge. Like, for example, there are three or four of, uh, very vocal Congress members who have gone on record saying that the Prime Minister has not done the right thing. So, yeah. obviously, her silence is to maintain uh, sort of a non-partisan approach towards uh, everyone in the party. She, uh, so that everyone can be taken together. The, the, she, 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 does, she would not like to be seen uh, standingly, standing solidly behind one person. The message right. is she approves the policy in principle, but it doesn't mean that she approves everything in person. So that is hmm. why this uh, non-partisan non approach is being used, but then that's what she has been doing since 2004. Right, Karthike. All right, for the time being, Karthike and Avijit, many thanks for joining us on News at 11. Through the day, we'll be keeping our viewers posted on the latest that happens as far as this FDI log jam is concerned.